Okay, for this part of the installation, we're going to install the uh, sediment control barrier at the base of E-Fence. And uh, this is Urtex sediment control barrier. It's called S-Fence. It's uh, 12 inches in width. This is, comes in 100 foot rolls and it's made to mate up with E-Fence. So you can see the sediment control filter is the light. And then it has that heavy backing the substrate uh, poly matrix material. A key step in installing the sediment control panel in the same trench with E-Fence is to make sure that it's installed on the side of E-Fence, which is away from sensitive habitat. This is the E-Fence exclusion barrier, shown in red. This is the sensitive habitat side of E-Fence. This is the sediment control panel installed on the side away from sensitive habitat. And for reference, this is the T-post, which should also be on the construction side of E-Fence or the side away from sensitive habitat. So you can see that the sediment control panel is on the other side of E-Fence, away from the critters that we're trying to exclude from the construction site and protect. Okay, the best approach is to install the sediment control panel in the trench first. After the trench is dug and the T-post are installed, but before E-Fence is inserted into the trench, and then tie it to the T-post. You want to make sure that the sediment control panel is installed so that 8 to 9 inches is above ground, leaving about 3 to 4 inches in the ground. Since the sediment control panel won't sit at the bottom of the trench, which can be, for example, 6 inches deep, you can positively set this height by tying it with zip ties or wire ties at that level to make sure it stays eight to nine inches above ground. Then tie it to all the posts as indicated in yellow. Make sure when you put the sediment control panel in the trench, orient the filter side of the sediment control panel towards where the E-fence will be. One side is black. The filter side with the small apertures to mate up with E-fence as you'll see in the next video segment. So what we're actually installing here is the uh, triple function E-fence. So what you have is one fence that functions three ways. You get the wildlife exclusion function, you get the construction safety fence function, and then also the sediment control. Sediment control tends to be less than 50% of the perimeter. So typically on a construction site, the exclusion fence goes around the entire construction site and probably only half of it requires sediment control. So this is going to get dropped into the same trench. In this case, the fence will have a uh, climber barrier. So the, the orange fence in this case has been scored at the top. You can see the line about five inches from the top of the fence and that's going to be bent down to form a climber barrier. Two zip ties, one just below the climber barrier. It has to be below the climber barrier in order to allow the climber barrier to fold down. And then another zip tie about halfway, halfway down the post. And you can see um, the sediment control barrier remains on this side. And after the sediment control barrier and the fence has been installed, then it's uh, time to backfill. Push the spoils back into the trench. And bring that trench back up to grade, grade level. Uh, and this should leave, this should leave um, eight to nine inches of uh, sediment control barrier um, above, above grade.